all my gamers, subscribers, nerds, as well as haters. This is Doja Boy. I'm doing an Ash Factory review today. So uh, let's get pumped up for this video. And let's just check out my character for a little second here. Look how beautiful and gorgeous this guy is. Oh my gosh, with the all gold, with the last word. Well, let's go ahead and get to the importance of this video. Um, I just want to just uh, give a big, basic uh, review about the, the Ash Factory. Um, I got this through playing through the Crucible. And um, first, let's take a look at this thing, see how uh, beautiful it is. It's uh, tricked out with the all green. And look at the design on it as well. That is so awesome right there. But let's go ahead and just check out the perks here. And you can see that we got the aggressive launch with the more predictable recoil, enhance the blast radius. Uh, we got the soft launch that has a penalty uh, on the velocity but has a less recoil. We also have the, uh, the counter mass which has less recoil but penalty for the blast radius. We have the tripod with the launcher that can, uh, can hold up to three shells. This is a plus. We have the speed reload which reloads the weapon real quickly. We had to fit a stock to increase the weapon stability. And we also had the single point sling, which uh, switch the weapons faster while you're moving down aiming. And most importantly, we have the track, uh, the tracking order where the shells can um, pretty much find its targets. Now, um, let's take a look at it again, see how pretty it is. And let's go ahead and get to some clips on, on the game. Um, this is, so we can see how the, um, the rocket launcher really works. Um, this is some gameplay I'm doing right here in the Cosmodome on Earth, and um, I'm gonna just show y'all a basic uh, look and structure of how the uh, the gun works. So um, you can see these shanks here. All right, so um, you can see when it blows up how much blast radius it got. It, it, it was able to kill all three of them in that blast radius. Let me see if I can find some more here. So the blast radius on this gun is real excellent. So if you want to take out multiple enemies within a close radius, you could definitely see that um, that it will definitely do it. See how much blast radius it got once it shoots and hits the ground. Uh, on a rocket launcher, that's what you pretty much want as well, with, as well as with the tracking as well. Now, uh, let me show you uh, a, 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 let me see if I can find some more enemies. But I want you to see how far this gun shoots right here. Shoots very far. Love the blast radius on this gun. Now let's see if I can uh, find some more enemies over here so you can see the uh, the blast radius. Now, now check out the tracking on this here. Um, you see how far I shot back from and it also has a track. You see how far the, the blast radius was at the same time for the enemy that was all the way on the far left? That's the results you want. Now, um, on this review, I can just definitely tell you, it's not the Gallahorn, but it's, it, it was a subside from the Gallahorn. It's a real good gun. Um, if you definitely want to check it out, give me some insights on what you think about the gun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this clip. Um, like I said, it's a real good gun. I almost had 100 subscribers, but y'all just continue to keep supporting this channel. I just want to thank everybody for watching. Just let me know what you think.